Hi guys, in this video, I will teach you how to use L298 motor driver module without any program. So, let's get started. We have three terminal connectors and one signal connector. This connector written as out1 and out2 are for motor A and the another one out3 and out4 which are for motor B. In this connector we will be connecting our motors with our wire inserted here and this connector is for power supply. The first pin written as VCC which is the supply voltage for this module as well as for our motors which it can support from 3 volt to 35 volt and this is an input terminal the center one written as ground is our ground terminal which is common for both input and output and our third terminal is 5 volt this is 5 volt output which can give 0.5 ampere at maximum this portion or this 5 volt is regulated with this 5 volt regulator IC this is our regulator IC which accept input from our VCC so the maximum limitation is 35 volt and we have this connector written as JP1 it is our connector that gives 5 volt output or say that enables this 5 volt regulator in this L298 module and it is better to give greater than 7 volt up to 15 volt it can also support 35 volt it is better not to exceed 15 volt because it gets hard very soon and if you don't want to use this you can just eliminate this connector or jumper here we have our signal connectors we can get two rows here one two three four five six in each row F first connector is 5 volt the second one is 5 volt the center two are ground and the rightmost two are again 5 volt the bottom one is first enable to motor A and the last one is enable to motor B. The center 4 are input 1, input 2 for motor forward and reverse, input 3 and input 4 for motor B forward and reverse. This is our main IC. This is L298N. So it has its data sheet. Now let's start using this module. For this test, we will be using our applied dual regulated power supply. We will set our voltage to 12 volt. Mm, we have 12 volt and set our current around 500 to 1 ampere. Let's connect our probe. Black goes to black and red goes to positive. We have our 12 volt power supply. Let's connect this. The positive goes to VCC. Insert and tighten the screw. For negative, we have to connect black wire to ground. As soon as the power supply is connected, the red lead goes on. That means we have our power supply. Let's test the voltage. Place the multimeter to 20 volt. Since we will be measuring 12 volt, it will not be any problem. We have 11.99 volt, which is around 12 volt. And let's test out how much do we have in 5 volt output. We have 4.98 volt, and in connector, we have 11.98 volt. If we are not going to use this 5 volt, we can just remove this connector from here. The lead goes off, and the output voltage in this 5 volt goes to zero. For this project or tutorial we will be using our 5 volt from the module itself so we will be placing this this is our 7805 5 volt voltage regulator this is our input terminal which is 11.98 and the center one tap is ground and this one is our output voltage which is 5.98 volt if you don't light up this you don't you have to first check this connector is connected or not if this is connector and this lights up there should be 5 volt in our 5 volt connector now let's connect the motors 
here we have DC geared motor 12 volt 100 rpm two of these will connect both in one in each side since we have powered this device none of our motors are rotating to rotate our motor we need to insert or we need to provide in 1, in 2, in 3, in 4 respectively to rotate motor A we need to insert uh, we need to provide 5 volt in input 1 or input 2 and for motor B either input 3 or input 4 let's test it out ok guys then let's, let's start testing this motor first to enable the motor A we need to insert the enable A pin and 5 volt or sort these two terminals with this jumper and to enable motor B we have to sort these two with this jumper so we'll start placing the jumper here to test we'll take one female to female connector one to one insert in 5 volt and we are going to test in input 4 which is for motor B so we have our motor here okay here it goes in one direction if we take this out and insert this pin in insert 3 it goes reverse for motor A we first connect to 5 volt and I'll connect this another end to IN1 let's see what happens and nothing okay for same thing I'll go with in 2 one I gave high, another I gave low. Motor gumena barbad go. This means the half part of this motor driver L298 N is working. That is motor B, and the half for motor A. This side isn't working, so we'll be replacing this and use another L298 module. And with this, we'll have another video repairing this board. again we'll use our female to female connector connect to 5 volt and give it a try motor B goes on in one direction and another direction motor A also goes on in one direction and in reverse direction so to run both motors simultaneously we need Two input supply both connected to 5 volt okay one motor goes on and another also goes on Now disconnect the power supply. Let's get these both motor in reverse direction and switch it on. Now it goes reverse. I switched off the power supply. And this is how you use N298 module.